Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing off the beautiful black truffle from Perigord, France and this very simple but very beautiful egg papardel recipe um, that's paired with a wonderful white wine cream sauce. So let's just get on with the recipe. All right, so first up for this recipe is of course the pasta. Now I've made pasta a few times on my channel before and it almost always follows the same rules for the most part. And today I'm going the traditional route by using a well as opposed to a mixer. Uh, but basically you're just gonna be adding the eggs, water, salt, and olive oil um, to the center of the well, as well as a few drops of white truffle oil which is gonna help accentuate the overall truffleness to this pasta. Uh, now basically you just wanna mix everything together with a fork without letting the wall of flour break. And as soon as the ingredients start to form a mass of dough, you're just gonna start kneading it by folding it over onto itself until it becomes very elastic and develops a nice sheen on the outside. Once it's done, you're gonna cover it with plastic and allow it to rest for about 30 minutes so that the gluten can relax and it doesn't just bounce back on you uh, when you roll it out. But as soon as it's done, you can start to roll it out um, to get it prepped for the first pass on the pasta machine, which is kind of like the most important one. So all you have to do is to make sure that it can at least know. fit into that thickest setting on the pasta machine without it getting clogged or tearing. Uh, so just shoot for that. And as soon as it starts to roll through that setting with ease, all you have to do from there is adjust it one setting thinner with each pass and just continue to roll it out until it's about the thickness of a few sheets of computer paper or to be more specific, the number four setting on the pasta machine. When the pasta is all rolled out, make sure you generously flour the top of it and carefully roll it up like a giant yellow fruit roll up. Just be careful not to press too hard, otherwise it might all stick together. Anyways, once it's all rolled up, carefully trim the edges to square it up. Then you're gonna begin uh, to make even committed slices to create these wonderfully thick pasta ribbons called pappardelle. As soon as the pasta is finished, you're gonna get a large saute pan on medium heat. Add in a few cubes of butter along with some minced onion. And you're gonna to wanna to cook that for a minute or so to sweat them out. Um, after that, you're gonna add in some white wine and cook that for another minute so that the alcohol cooks out. Next, you're gonna add in the cream and then you're gonna shave in a generous helping of Parmesan just to lightly thicken the sauce. And finally, you're going to finish it with a beautiful shaving of black Perigord truffle, um, and that will be the final flavoring for this. Once that's in, just make sure you turn off the heat. Mm -hmm. 
After the sauce is done, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a good size pot of salted boiling water rolling and you are good to add in the pasta. Just make sure you give it a few good stirs so that nothing sticks together. And just as a reminder, fresh pasta cooks about 10 times faster than dried pasta, so it will seem a bit fast at first, but any longer than two to three minutes in the water and you might end up with pasta mush. So just keep that in mind. Nonetheless, once the pasta is finished, lightly strain it or use a wired ladle like I have and quickly transfer it to the sauce in order to soak up all the truffle creamy deliciousness. plating this bad boy, just grab your favorite pasta plate or bowl, gently fold and stack the ribbons of pappardelle on top of one another to get some height. Then you're gonna grate a quality amount of Parmesan cheese. And of course, shave as much black truffle on top as your heart or wallet desires. And that's it guys, a beautiful black truffle pappardelle pasta.